In Curl Parametric 9.0, you can now select and manipulate the subdivided control mesh through a set of new brush tools in Freestyle. Available through the Freestyle ribbon, you can now access the brush tool to expose the nine available brushes. Let's explore the different types of brushes through a few examples. The first example is a model that was created through the Reconstruct from Facets function in Freestyle. To improve the accuracy of the manipulation, you can change the resolution level to 1. Through the ribbon, you can click the brush icon to open the brush dialog. The pull brush is active by default, which will move the mesh vertices along their normal. On the screen is a circular brush target with two circles, which is sized based on the model units. Changing the size of the target in the brush dialog can increase or decrease the target. The area within the inner red circle would provide the greatest mesh manipulation and is defined by the intensity value set in the brush dialog. The area between the red and yellow would have less effect on the mesh. You can modify this area by changing the softness value in the brush dialog. Now that you've modified the brush setting, let's see how the push brush can manipulate the mesh. Dragging the target over the control mesh and pressing the left mouse button will start to manipulate the mesh. The influence control mesh vertices will change to green, and the mesh and underlying surface will be modified. Like with most brushes, you can hold the shift key to change the direction of the brush. In the case of pull, holding the shift button will change it to push. The target will change color to red and blue. Selecting the inflate brush from the dialog, you can now move the target over another area which will uniformly scale the mesh. You can also use the brush for selection. This is a quick way to select the control mesh faces and vertices without also choosing the other side. Once selected, you can close the brush dialog and perform your manipulation. In previous releases, it was a challenge to locally modify freestyle geometry especially in the cases of high-density control meshes. In this second example, which is a model created through the reconstruction process from generative design, we'll take a look at the other brush types. Selecting the flattened brush, you'll be asked to select a plane or surface or datum plane first. Choosing the bottom of the part, you can now start to manipulate the control mesh to snap to that surface. The vertices will change to blue once they are aligned with that surface. Selecting the Attach brush, you'll be asked to select a triangulated mesh first. Choosing the generative body, you can now start to manipulate the control mesh to attach to the triangulated mesh. Like with Flatten, the vertices will change to blue once they are aligned with the mesh. The other brush types include Smooth, which will smoothen the mesh by averaging the vertex locations, Move, which will translate the vertices related to the screen space, Reset, which will remove the MLR data from the current level. And lastly, Erase, which only works in the base MLR level, but will either remove edges and can also delete faces. This enhancement will drastically improve your productivity and user experience in Freestyle. It will provide sculpting-like capabilities to easily manipulate dense control meshes and provide an effective way to modify reconstruction geometry to improve the overall definition.